Hello and welcome to Texas in the Arca car. We got some official racing here on Monday, just as the week switches over. And uh, as Jack has said here in the chat, yes, they really did change the setup between race and practice. Because in practice, a lot of people were given the old Texas setup. Like last time, they had initially loaded in the wrong setup because uh, what is learning from your mistakes after all? And we uh, all practiced on the super tight old setup. And they must have realized they're a bunch of nincompoops. <laughs> right before uh, the first race here because now we are on the correct setup. So it's good to know that all of my practice that I just did doesn't mean much. Thank you, iRacing. But, uh, all jests aside, I am glad we're on the correct setup, and it's not like I haven't done this combo before. So at least it's everything's good to go now. Uh, this is now my first laps. These are going to be my first laps on the actual correct setup. Ooh. Wow. It still feels tight. I was joking with Gavin. They probably just renamed it. It's probably not even the correct setup. Uh, I might be telling the truth, because that still feels really tight. Like, it's not made for this track. This setup is actually worse. I swear, this setup is actually worse. <laughs> or maybe I just have gotten worse between practice and race, because that was about a tenth and a half off. It still feels super tight. Oh boy. I racing, what we gonna do with you? At least this uh, lap should be a little bit better, it looks like. 3, 4, 6. Up about a tenth. I will take it. We're the five, which is kind of surprising because it's the first uh, uh, race of the week. And usually these races are super high straight the field. In fact, I'm going to find out what straight the field it is here. As soon as I send a good luck to Shane as well. Uh, didn't miss anything? Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn on do this come on work properly please computer sometimes it doesn't want to give me my start bar please there we go uh, don't look at my desktop <laughs> please I didn't clean up before you visited this place is a pigsty okay we got that uh, 4.1 so that's fun Hopefully this will be some good practice before the league race. I'm in front of Larry Pace. How did that happen? I guess he might not have realized the setup changed and then tried to drive it as normal or something. Oh, Nick had a rough lap. We're gabbing it up. Gavin 14th. I mean, I say rough lap, but again, 4.1 strength of field, so... Very competitive. Don't even know if you could call that a rough lap. I mean, we just got very strong drivers in here. So, uh, Mike's in here as well. Uh, who else do we know? Scott, Shane, I said hello to. I've raced against this guy. He tried to take me three wide the last race I did, I think. Not at Irwindale, but at uh, Chicagoland. <laughs> he took me three wide off the start. I think that was him. Um, familiar with Jordan from watching Nick and Gavin because they've raced each other. Of course, Jack and Lewandowski. So lots of familiar faces. I don't know Roswell, guy with the coolest name. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've seen him before and commented that he has the coolest name. <laughs> but uh, I'm not familiar with him personally and I haven't really raced him too much. But none of that matters. We're going to put the brake bias all the way back to 57%. 
Going to need all the turn we can get heading into turn one. Especially because the car does still feel tight. Session last lap. I'm okay with the P5. Especially because you do kind of want to be on the bottom here at Texas. I'm going to be very... Uh, I'm going to keep my eyes open, we'll say, uh, for turns three and four. Uh, a couple of concerns I have. The setup does feel a little bit less stable than the original setup we had. It doesn't even necessarily feel much looser. It is a little bit looser, maybe, but it's also just much less stable. I guess so it can make turns one and two better. But what I'm worried about are people driving hard into three and four thinking it'll stick on these cold tires and it not doing that. So I'm hoping that we don't have any of the guys in front of me run into any issues in that department. Hopefully nobody does. But I'm going to keep my eyes out. Tire saving should be a thing, although 35 laps, that's pretty darn quick. But you don't get any extra tire sets for this race, so let's be smart out there. Someone once told me. Six is backing up. It's uh, Spongebob and Squidward in the uh, pizza delivery episode. Backing up. We need to close the gap to the guy ahead. Hopefully we don't forget the Diet Dr. Kelp references. That makes me funny by default, right? If I'm making references. What gear are we starting in? Look, guys, have a good race. Nice lap, Tom. This looks like a first gear start. Yep, thank you too. Doody doo. As is often the case, I will be watching Lewandowski to so see I if he does anything. Lap, but I was expecting time to lock quicker. Did everyone else have a challenge in qualifying too? First time I was trying to week for me. I was running Texas Oval set up in practice and then when I got here it was Texas Oval twenty twenty. Yeah. Controlled by iRation, dude. Hmm, I wonder what I was doing. I don't know, but I'm slowly at all that. Yeah. Hey, I'll keep figure it out. <laughs> so I'm gonna do first gear. Hopefully that's not dumb. He did not use first gear in front of me. <laughs> really had to hold off for him. Kill my momentum a bit. Don't go through by that idea. Okay. Outside. Got the inside where I want to be. Holy smokes, dude. That was so risky for no reason. Okay, we got the nose on him. Hopefully he doesn't Stay try low. to chop There's me again. I got a little bit loose right there. But loose is fast. Still there. As long as I can hold on to it. Keep right. You're now in the third. Alright. We get the spot. We gotta save tires though. So we're gonna have to be very careful in turns one and two heading forward. I think you can get on the right rear just fine if you push through three and four. Just don't, uh, you know, loop it. That'd be bad. Loopy be bad. So. Whew. Breathe a little bit. That feels pretty good. So we got Jack 
and Lewandowski in front of me. Both very fast individuals. Keep it on the edge through three and four. Feels good. All right, I'm not going to try to pass Jack if I don't need to. Oh man, he's lifting off pretty good. Uh, I don't want to pass him. You've just done the two point seven. Looks like I'm getting good rotation. I'm sorry about that. Somebody's sorry about that. I hope that does not affect anybody we know. Can't bump draft, that's for sure. So we, we will not be. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanksgiving is now over. You're not allowed to be thankful anymore. Send that man to jail. Hmm. Lewandowski. P3. Your lap time was 30.8. The next car is the leader. Oh boy, that got tight. Interesting. Probably need to back it down a little bit. I say. Making a pass. Get those left side tires cooled up. Keep low. Outside, clear. Outside. Go low. Go low. The next car's the leader. Still there. Oh boy, I love Texas. This is one of my favorite tracks. Just having a fun race already. Still there. Clear high. Lewandowski looking like he might want to try a crossover. I don't think he's there though. I trust him not to make a dumb move as well. I know he's a good, good driver. Am I killing the tires? I don't know. First race of the week. What am I, Claire Boyant? Lewandowski almost got his nose there. I never got a call, though, and uh, went for the move as scheduled. It uh, doesn't feel like I cut him off or anything right there. the tires. Still don't know. It's feeling tighter, but not unmanageably so. Kind of hoping it'll be tough to pass later as well. I think Jack's doing a better job than me getting the right the correct angle into the corner. I think he's doing a better job. I don't think that means I'm giving up. I'm going to follow him. And see what I can do. Me too. 
trying to be patient on the throttle. Turns one and two. I think Lewandowski uh, backed off for a reason and probably is going to pass us again later. Hmm, got a couple people following behind us. Not getting as much rotation as, as I would like between turns one and two. Car inside. Still inside. Still Just gonna have to let him go. Still inside. Be clear inside. Car inside. Holy cow, dude! What is your problem? Still there, inside. Absolutely freaking dove it in there. This isn't <laughs> Legacy Texas. Clear. He nearly killed me. He's trying to file in back behind Lewandowski. I missed the corner. Oh my god, I missed the corner. Car inside. Oh. Still there. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Clear. P4, you've just done a 31.9. Alright, 14 is really scaring me, but we're okay. I swear they just renamed it. This does not feel like it's how it's supposed to feel, I don't think. I really would prefer some more rotation. I cannot get this car to turn. Honestly, if I were iRacing, I would claim that they just renamed it because this is a pretty garbage setup if this is what it's supposed to be. Gavin, thanks for not running me over. I didn't know where they were going to go. P5, your last lap time was at 32. Yeah, no problem. It's so tight. Yeah, that didn't look very good. The overdrive entry, because that guy was going to stick his nose where it didn't belong if I didn't. Set up pass on exit. It's not hard. The lap time was at 32.1. A much better corner right there. Still uh, on track for a top six. Feel like uh, we should be okay there unless those guys, uh, about two seconds back, start making a real charge. I don't think the 14's tires are much better than mine, um, even if mine are pretty bad. I can't believe how tight it is in 3 and 4. I mean, it's not like we've been out here for hours. <laughs> it's 22 laps. I don't remember it getting that tight last time, though I could be misremembering. Still scared of the 14. I hope I have no reason to be. Right, 
now I am. I didn't hit the apron there, I don't think, but it must have hit a weird bump because it felt like I got pushed up the track a bit. Hmm. Seventh place is catching up to us. Not necessarily what I want to see. We've stopped losing though, because we're about even or even a little bit green through turns one and two. Past couple of laps. Maybe I've just kind of learned how to deal with the uh, tightening race car a little bit. Oh, that's a thing that's happening in front of us. Scott, are you okay, Scott? Put the window net down if you're okay. Actually, don't if you're still driving. <laughs> I don't know if the uh, 14 led off or something because that was happening, but uh, suddenly we have a 0.4 second gap to him, so that's curious. So the uh, 16 has to make his way around the 14 still. We might be able to hold on to this fifth. Oh my god, the car is so tight. We're managing though, doing our best. Obviously if I were to approach this again, I would uh, back up turns 1 and 2 a lot more, and probably even 3 and 4. I thought we were going to be able to stay on the right rear the whole time in 3 and 4, and so we didn't have to really lift all that much. But clearly that was, uh, that is not the case. Should have been, uh, easing it off on entry in 3 and 4, it's looking like. Because the right front's not too happy. It's not much of a happy camper at the moment. I hope it takes a while for the 16 to get around the 14. Otherwise, uh, we might not be keeping this top 5. I think staying on the brakes longer helps me in 1 and 2. They are fighting for that position behind us, exactly what I wanted. They are uh, having an exciting battle up there, they're all pretty close. Though I don't know if they can do anything. They're close, but is anyone going to be able to get the run they need to get something done? That's the question. A little bit too easy through one and two there, maybe. Still uh, fighting for position behind us. I need that to last as long as possible. What happened to Shane? Shane disappeared. He's gone. He must have had an accident or something. Maybe hit the wall. I see some wall markings. I saw some on the exit four. I wonder if that was him. We'll see in the incidents in just a bit. Right after this race is over. Come on, dude. Ready? Oh, boy. Something happened. Have a nice vacation. So we got intentional wrecking, it sounds like. Judging by that comment. So, uh, not really what you want to hear. I don't know why you're so mad. I was literally giving you the facts. And you just decided to spin me out. Hmm. <clears throat> what is this off pace car up here? I hope they get out of the way properly. The gap behind is now 1.2 seconds. It's a pretty good 3 and 4 commit to last lap. Got 1.1 behind us to Jordan. I think we can keep that. 
21's having a rough time. It's like they are the one that is accused of intentional wreckage. So I will give them a universe of space. Not really losing much time anymore behind us. So I think we've settled into our fifth place, exactly where iRacing says I should be finishing. Thank you. Go figure. You do about 2,000 races yeah. lifetime, and eventually your I rating starts making sense. <laughs> I don't know how many races I've done. I don't think I've done 2,000 races, but I've done a lot. Don't hit that wall. Hey. Will we have anything exciting happening up front? It looks like they've got a battle for second going on. That could materialize into something noteworthy. I'm going up to hit the wall. Trying to take, uh, trying to lose my fifth place. Side by side for second. How exciting. Who's going to get it? Ooh, car on the inside? I don't know. Hey, race. Alright. Yeah, the Very story. tight setup, but... Uh, Joshua, uh, thanks for not falling into me there. I, 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 I got really tight and I didn't tell you had nowhere to go. Do, do, do. I sent the same exact thing as Gavin. Exact same capitalization and everything, so... So Lewandowski got the win. Larry Pace just barely edges out Jack for P2. Sure, no one's gonna run into the back of me here. Hello. Okay. I'll take it. Like I said, probably would have uh, taken it a little bit easier. 5883. <laughs> Time to embarrass myself. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's golf, right? Lower score is better. <laughs> so we uh, start fifth, finish fifth, top five, and the five. Five. <laughs> That's pretty much the whole story to this one. We'll go and see what happened out here. I still think they just renamed it and didn't actually change the setup. That's my conspiracy. Putting on my tinfoil cap. But it's also my excuse for tearing the front off. So it's a very, uh, it's a very multi-purpose conspiracy theory. It makes me look less bad. Well, that stunk. 19 just runs over the 21. Still not a good reason to intentionally wreck someone. But that's probably why he was mad. Mike unfortunately caught into that. And I'm sure there were some people behind them that had to slow down for it. Nick, for example. Wasn't in it, but kind of ruins his race because he loses a bunch of time having to slow down, I imagine. Yeah. So that stinks, I bet. Oh, he must have had more trouble. Uh-oh. What is happening? Wow. Okay. That guy just absolutely sends it on shame. Just like that other guy did it to me, pretty much. Uh, what is happening here? So... I don't know what, what the 11's doing. He's like drifting up into Shane's lane. And he just door slams him. Like, what is this guy's problem? 
And then looks like Shane maybe got loose on entry or something. I'm trying to figure that out. And then I swear it looks like the 11 just purposely, after he gets hit, right hooks. Like the way, how hard he turns to the right, that doesn't feel like an overcorrect. That feels like I'm mad at you and I have a short temper and I just decided after getting hit by you that I'm going to take my frustrations out by killing myself and you. That's not a normal overcorrect, in my opinion. Could be wrong. But then Nick gets caught in it. That's pretty stupid. Looks like Gavin had to slow down for it. There's some dummies in this race, weren't there? <laughs> Nick obviously can't just wait. There's not going to be a yellow. can't get by it. So that kills him. <sighs> well, I uh, can almost guarantee we'll have a better race this Sunday than what they've had to deal with here, so makes me further appreciate the league. There's uh, when Scott decided to go Super Saiyan, start uh, driving in the crowd and whatever else he was doing. So no blinking. 19's just driving, probably blinking, here's this guy running him over, because uh, he's a big bad bully with a virtual race car. Wow, you sure showed him. Got him good, wow. Just cutting down. Nothing much happening there. Number four up and into the wall. Did not get that thing turned. Imagine... Okay, so Nick and this guy are on the same lap. Uh, 11's driving like a wiener. So I imagine Nick is blocking him for that purpose. He maybe saw that's uh, what happened. Nick just <laughs> turns down into him. And then again, it looks like the 11 just decides to keep turning right. Yeah. You can tell he's not trying to turn left here. Like, sure, netcode pulls him over, but right here, he should be able to gather it up and turn left. But you see he turns right again. You can see. That's no longer him getting pulled over. That's him deciding he's going to put Nick in the wall. So that's two people he's forced into the wall this race. I'm sure he thinks he's so sly. It's more obvious than you think. And then do we have fireworks after? I don't know. All the people that hate each other. <laughs> Just uh, taking their broken cars across the line, I guess. So uh, Nick's video is going to be very interesting to watch. I'm sure he has some choice words if he uh, chooses to upload this one. It might be a case where, like, somebody knew him and his channel and were trying to be take the attention or something, and so Nick's not going to want to give that to them. Hopefully that's not the case. But, uh, we had a couple of guys that earned their 2.3s and 3.4Bs and all that. Showing why they uh, probably can't get a license. I don't know. One incident does not make 
a driver, but that was pretty poor showing for those guys. But hey, a pretty decent showing for me in my terrible right front tire wear. Um, managed to hold on to a P5 despite roasting it on the right front. Would have liked a uh, looser setup. Um, I racing sneaking in the uh, quote unquote new Texas setup, even though maybe not. But either way, I'll take it. Top five. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Glad Gavin still got eighth after having to avoid some nonsense. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.